Today's question is, how could I recognize a false teacher or false prophet? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Jesus warned us that false Christ and false prophets will come and will attempt to deceive even God's elect. Matthew chapter 24 verses 23 through 27. The best way to guard yourself against falsehood and false teachers is to know the truth. To spot or counterfeit, study the real thing. Any believer who correctly handles the word of truth, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, and who makes a careful study of the Bible can identify false doctrine. For example, a believer who has read the activities of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 will immediately question any doctrine that denies the Trinity. Therefore, step one is to study the Bible and judge all teaching by what the scripture says. Jesus said a tree is recognized by its fruit, Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. When looking for fruit, here are three specific tests to apply to any teacher to determine the accuracy of his or her teaching. First, what does this teacher say about Jesus? In Matthew chapter 16, verses 15 through 16, Jesus asks, Who do you say I am? And Peter answers, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And for this answer, Peter is called blessed. In 2 John chapter 9, we read, Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. In other words, Jesus Christ and his work of redemption is of utmost importance. Beware of anyone who denies that Jesus is equal with God, who downplays Jesus' sacrificial death, or who rejects Jesus' humanity. 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 says, Who is the liar? It is the man who denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a man is the Antichrist. He denies the Father and the Son. Second, does this teacher preach the gospel? The gospel is defined as the good news concerning Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. As nice as they sound, the statements, God loves you, God wants us to feed the hungry, and God wants you to be wealthy are not the complete message of the gospel. As Paul warns in Galatians chapter 1, verse 7, Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. No one, not even a great preacher, has the right to change the message that God gave us. If anyone is preaching to you a gospel other than what you have accepted, let him be eternally condemned. Galatians chapter 1, verse 9. Third, does this teacher exhibit character qualities that glorify the Lord? Speaking of false teachers, Jude 11 says, They have taken the way of Cain. They have rushed for profit into Balaam's heir. They have been destroyed in Korah's rebellion. In other words, a false teacher can be known by his pride, Cain's rejection of God's plan, greed, Balaam's prophesying for money, and rebellion, Korah's promotion of himself over Moses. Jesus said to beware of such people and that we would know them by their fruits. Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 through 20. For further study, review those books of the Bible that were written specifically to combat false teaching within the church. Galatians, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, and Jude. It is often difficult to spot a false teacher or false prophet. Satan masquerades as an angel of light, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, and his ministers masquerade as servants of righteousness, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15. Only by being thoroughly familiar with the truth will we be able to recognize a counterfeit. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content, and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and we'll help you find them.